Good morning. This is our time for prayer. Our scripture about prayer comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. I love this. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every situation because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Are there any prayer concerns, praises that we need to, to share today in the congregation? Paul of Martin's daughter. Paul of Martin's daughter. Paul of Martin's daughter. Amen. Prayer, please. Amen. Kathy's son. Kathy's son. Kathy's son. Kathy's son. Okay. Prayers for healing and recovery. Kathleen's grandson. Jay out of the hospital. Praise for that. We give God praise for that. Anyone else I missed? All right. And we certainly do pray for Tim and all those at resurrection. We pray for the mighty movement of God among our young people in the United Methodist Church and elsewhere who are able to attend resurrection. We're thankful for that. I would also <clears throat> mention that. This is Sanctity of Life Sunday. <clears throat> and so we, we pray for uh, all life, and no matter what stage, to be protected. The Bible says that we should choose life. And uh, God says before the foundation of the world, I knew you. He knew each of us, even before the foundation of the world. And obviously that precedes our birth. So, uh, and, and God says that uh, he knit us in our mother's womb. So we just pray for... Uh, mothers and fathers to choose life today, especially those in crisis pregnancy situations. And we pray for human life to be valued from conception all the way through to natural death. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Almighty and loving God, we, we praise you today. We are thankful to, breathe, to be in your house and love your presence, Lord. As we know where two or three are gathered together, your word tells us your spirit is among us. We pray for all those attending resurrection. We pray for you to move the hearts of young people. There are many, many influences affecting our young people, really all of us. And we pray for <clears throat> the influence of God's word to be powerful. We pray for lives to be changed. We pray for this community, we pray for our families, our children, we pray for this nation and our leaders, for those <clears throat> who are sick and facing surgery, especially those with cancer, leukemia, and other serious illnesses, those with COVID. We pray for our churches and our pastors. We pray for Tim and Nicole and baby Noah as he grows up in the world. And especially, Lord, we pray for those without the assurance of Jesus Christ in their hearts for eternity, we, we pray that they will choose to accept your free gift of salvation. We pray now the prayer that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we have forgiven those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now we have our corporate prayer in the bulletin. God, like a baker woman, you bring the leaven which causes our hope to rise. With your strong and gentle hand, Shape our lives. Warm us with your love. Take our common lives and touch them with your grace. That we may nourish hope among humanity. We pray, trusting in your name, through Jesus our Christ. Amen. <clears throat> 